Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a Mac user like me, you know that Mac OS is the most stable and the most powerful operating system for people who just want to get things done. But you can improve your Mac OS experience thanks to some very useful but rather unknown applications. My name is Arthur and in today's video I'm going to share with you 10 amazing Mac apps that you should definitely check out to boost your productivity. Trust me, these apps will change the way you work on your Mac. If you enjoy this kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Without losing more of your precious time, let's dive right in. Number 1. Mac Bing Mac Bing is a free but very useful app for macOS that allows you to quickly access Bing search engine right from your menu bar. Bing is a free AI search engine powered by ChatGPT. It uses the power of artificial intelligence and enhances it with real-time information from the web. In just a few clicks, you can access Bing Chat and start chatting with the most powerful language model completely for free. Mac Bing app is perfect for anyone who wants an easy and efficient way to use ChatGPT4 on a Mac for free. When you open the Mac Bing app, it will load the Bing search engine interface in a small pop-up window that you can access anytime you need from your menu bar. The primary goal of this app is to stay concentrated and avoid leaving the app you are currently working in. Thanks to the power of AI, you can get search results straight to your answer instead of scrolling through endless links using Google. You can even have a real conversation with ChatGPT. Bing AI is like your personal assistant that can give you fast answers to very precise questions. Bing AI also allows you to quickly generate images, although I would not call these images very creative, but rather funny. If you want to download this app, you can go to the developer's website and provide your fair price, although you can download the app for free as well. Guys, before showing you the second app, I just want to quickly show you the product from our today's sponsor. Check out this high-end Mini Supuru MD6950B dual display docking station with 16 ports and 120 watts of power supply. This docking station has two 4K HDMI inputs, two 4K display ports, two 10 gigabits USB-C ports, two 5 gigabits USB-A, four USB-A 2.0 for various accessories, an Ethernet port, audio jack, two SD card readers. You just have to plug a USB-C host cable into your Mac and enjoy plenty of ports. You can connect hard drives, wired mice, microphones, keyboards, printers and even several external displays. I especially like the design of this docking station, the build quality is very good and it's definitely worth the price. I have been using this docking station with my Mac for almost a month now and I have to say it works pretty damn good, like it just works. It's compatible with both Mac and PC. If you are looking for a new docking station for your Mac, check out their website. The link will be in the description. I would not recommend something that I'm not using myself. Number 2. iStat Menus iStat Menus is the most powerful system monitoring app for macOS, right in your menu bar. The app covers a huge range of status including CPU, GPU and memory monitors, network usage, disk usage, disk activity and even the battery percentage of your AirPods or Bluetooth accessories. This app is highly optimized and does not require a lot of resources from your Mac. iStat Menus is highly configurable with full support for macOS, light and dark menu bar modes. iStat Menus features a wide range of different menu bar text and graph styles that are completely customizable. Each of the drop-down menus provides access to even greater details, including history graphs, for access up to 30 days of data. The app shows you a real CPU and GPU graphs. You can see memory stats as a pie chart, graph, percentage, bar or any combination of those things. You can monitor your network usage in the menu bar as text or graphs. Advanced information is available in the drop-down menu. iStat Menus also offers you a real-time view of temperatures, fan speed, voltages and power usage. What I especially like about this app is the battery percentage view. It can show you not only the percentage level, but also how long your MacBook can work until the battery is fully drained. It's quite a useful feature because it gives you an idea of exactly how much time you can spend working on your Mac if you don't have a power socket nearby. 
When you are plugging your MacBook into a power source, it also shows you how much time your computer will need until the battery is fully charged. Super handy. I'm really surprised that macOS does not include this feature by default. iStat menus cost $9.99 and you can find it in the Mac App Store. Number 3. Magnet. Windows management on macOS is a nightmare. Every time you multitask with many apps open, you need all the windows arranged accordingly and it's such a hard task to arrange windows manually every time. You know what I mean. The Magnet app makes this process quick, easy and effortless. In one drag to the edge of your display, you can automatically size any app into half of the screen. And by dragging its windows to corners, you can snap them into quarters. Siding on the bottom edge creates thirds or even sixths on ultra-wide monitors. Taking advantage of such arrangements eliminates app switching and greatly enhances workspace efficiency. Think of this app as a sort of snap feature that Microsoft Windows has had for quite a while now. With Magnet, you can effortlessly resize windows to fill any half of the screen, horizontally or vertically. A quarter of the screen, one third, two third of the screen or fill just the center. It sounds complicated, but it's not. You'll get used to it in seconds and you'll wonder how you ever lived without this app. Think of it as a window tiling feature in Microsoft Excel for the Mac. But for everything, the Magnet app helps you effectively and efficiently use the screen space of your MacBook. You can also use different key combinations or create your own key shortcuts. Magnet has become one of those absolutely essential programs that I immediately install on a new Mac. This app is worth every penny I spend on it. Magnet costs $7.99 and you can find it in the Mac App Store. Number 4. Bartender 5. Bartender is an amazing app for macOS users that allows you to customize and organize your menu bar items. You can hide, rearrange, group and search for menu bar items and apply different styles and presets to your menu bar. You can also use triggers and hotkeys to access your menu bar items quickly and easily. Get instant access to your hidden menu bar items simply by swiping or scrolling in the menu bar, clicking on the menu bar or if you prefer simply hovering. Thanks to this application you can access the menu bar items otherwise hidden by the notch on MacBook Air and Pro screens. I'm using this app primarily to kind of extend the menu bar on my MacBook and access some of the hidden menu bar items. Unfortunately this giant notch on my computer blocks some icons. You can also use it to hide some elements from the menu bar to make things look cleaner and better organized. The Bartender app can also customize your menu bar look with this different menu bar styling options, like the rounded or so-called pill-shaped style, adding color, gradient and so on. This app costs $15 and it's a one-time purchase. I like developers who are not working on the subscription-based model, you can pay once and you own the app forever. Leave a like if you don't like the subscription model. Number 5. Noir. Noir is a simple Safari extension that automatically adds a dark mode to every website you visit. By the way, Noir in French means black. Noir makes browsing the web at night so much better. With this little Safari extension, you won't be blinded by bright websites ever again. Noir generates a custom dark style for each website you visit, based on the colors that are used on that web page. You won't even notice this happening in the background. That's how fast it is, but you'll certainly appreciate the end result. A beautiful dark mode tailored for each website. You can of course customize it exactly the way you want with over 20 built-in themes and the ability to create your own. Noir works with any website you visit in Safari automatically. You can also disable Noir on some websites if you don't like the look or if some web elements are not working correctly. Noir is a Safari extension, which means there is no need to manually activate it every time you load a new web page. And just as importantly, Noir takes your privacy seriously. It doesn't collect any of your browsing data. Noir is made by a solo developer. It does not include any subscription or ads. Buy Noir once and use it forever. That's what I did several years ago. You can find it in the Mac App Store and it costs just $3.99. I also bought this app on my iPhone, it works great on iOS as well. Number 6. Better Touch Tool 
Better Touch Tool is one of the best value applications for macOS I ever bought. Better Touch Tool is a great feature-packed app that allows you to customize various input devices on your Mac, like Magic Trackpad, Magic Mouse, Touch Bar or even Notch Bar on the latest MacBook models. This application allows you to create new custom gestures and trigger different actions much faster and easier. For example, I programmed a three-finger force touch on the trackpad to enter a full-screen mode for all supported applications, two-finger double-tap gesture to open Finder, and four-finger double-tap to quickly open the control center. That way, I don't need to move my cursor and look for the control center, click on it, etc. Everything happens instantly. That is the power of Better Touch Tool. Gestures here are limited only by your imagination. One of the coolest features of this app is the ability to create custom gestures for Magic Mouse. The Magic Mouse can act almost like a trackpad. And of course, you can assign a tap to click on the Magic Mouse, so you don't have to physically press the button to make a click. I have no idea why the Magic Mouse doesn't have this feature by default, but in case you need it, Better Touch Tool gives you such a feature. By the way, I made a separate tutorial video about this app and how to configure your own custom gestures, so check it out if you're interested. The link will be in the description. The price of this app is around $20 and you can download it on the developer's website. Number 7. Clipboard Manager The Clipboard Manager app keeps track of all your clipboard history on your Mac. This tiny application can help you access your clipboard history for up to several months. This app is very simple, but has a huge impact on your overall experience with macOS. How many times have you copied some data or maybe some web links? Then, a few days later, you want to copy and paste it again, but unfortunately, you can no longer find it. But you know that it was there, you've copied it. For this kind of situation, Clipboard Manager app can help you. Basically, it keeps a full history of all your copy-paste actions, so you can find some old links that you were copying and pasting like three days ago. Super handy app. You will not be using it every day, but the day you will, it can save you a ton of time. This application is a huge time saver. Think of it as a time machine backup, but for your clipboard history. But that's not all. Clipboard Manager stores not only text or links, but also copied images and files. You can drag and drop clippings to another application. Frankly, this app is very good. Don't worry about privacy, as you can always clear your clipboard history and this application does not have access to your password keychain, so if you are copying your passwords, they will not be saved in the history. You can save some clippings in your favorites to use them later, you can use hotkeys to quickly access your clipboard. What I especially like about this app is that it shows you the clipping destination, which means from where exactly you copied the text, so you can easily identify the source. You can even copy text with the same style and layout you've copied in the past. This app is a must-have for all kind of office workers or writers. This app can save you a lot of time because you can search in the history of your clippings and find items that you copied weeks or even months ago. I absolutely love this app. You can find it in the Mac App Store and it costs $3.99. Number 8. App Cleaner App Cleaner is a small application that allows you to quickly uninstall unwanted apps from your Mac. If you are manually deleting apps from your Mac app library, you are doing it wrong, because you are actually not fully uninstalling the app. Its data and cache files will still be left on your Mac, using your precious SSD space. So it's better to uninstall apps using App Cleaner. And the good news is, this app is free. App Cleaner finds all these small files and safely deletes them. Simply drop an application into the App Cleaner window and it will find all related files and you will be able to delete them by clicking the delete button. You can also manually select apps from the list view and properly uninstall them from your Mac. This is a simple but very useful app. You should definitely check it out. Number 9. Temp Box 
Tenbox is an instant disposable email service designed for Mac users. Create an instant disposable email address to protect your privacy and avoid unwanted spam. You can generate a random name or create one of your choice. You can download email attachments, archive them and basically use it as a normal email account. Every virtual account contains 40 megabytes of storage and you can create as many accounts as you want. If you no longer need your virtual email account, you can simply delete it and forget about it. This app is completely free, unlike some other temp mail services. I'm using it for all stupid websites and services that are asking me to create an account to sell my email on the darknet. The Tempbox app is amazing. The Tempbox app helps me to protect my privacy and not share my real email address with some weird websites. Note that Tempbox allows you to only receive emails using your random email address. You cannot send mails using your disposable account. Anyway, you will probably need it only once to receive some confirmation emails. After that, you can forget about your disposable email. That's what this app is made for. Tempbox is completely open sourced, which means it's free. I love it so much that I would probably donate some money to the developers. Seriously, it saved me so many times. Amazing. The download link will be in the description of this video. Number 10. Be focused. This app is also completely free. As its name says, it helps you to stay focused. Staying focused on one task seems to be a real challenge for a lot of people out there, including myself. The Be Focused app lets you get things done by breaking up individual tasks among discrete intervals, separated by short breaks. It's a surprisingly effective way to retain motivation and focus, create tasks, configure breaks and track your progress throughout the day. This app uses a well-known Pomodoro technique. You are dividing your work time into 30-minute increments and taking 5-minute breaks in between. Longer 15-minute breaks are usually taken after several 30 minutes intervals. I have been using this technique for a few years now and it's been working great for me. If you never tried the Pomodoro technique to stay productive, try it out. I'm pretty sure you will notice an improvement in your daily productivity. The app interface is very simple and pretty intuitive. You can always see the remaining time of your task in the menu bar. Once you reach your time limit, the Be Focused app will alert you about the pause. Launch the pause time and rest. Once the pause time is ended, go back to work and get things done. You can of course customize your working time and divide your workflow into longer increments or take longer pauses. Everything is customizable. This app is free and you can download it in the App Store. There is also a paid version of this app, but I don't know what's the difference. If you are still watching this video, I have one more thing for you, especially for you, my dear viewer. Literally, the app is called One Thing. It's free and you can download it in the Mac App Store. As its name says, it does only one thing. You can put your most important task or goal in the menu bar. Its presence there will remind you about your goal every day. You can achieve almost anything if you focus on one thing at a time. George Washington once said, use the app for anything you want. Maybe you just want to put your dog's or cat's name in the menu bar or someone you love. That's okay too. You can of course customize the color of your text and even write a whole phrase if you have an ultra wide display. You got the idea. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found some new apps that you can use on your Mac. These are the apps that I use every day and that have helped me improve my productivity and creativity. If you want to try them out, I've put the links in the description below. Let me know in the comment section which app is your favorite and if you have any other recommendations or suggestions. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!